But at the same time, we need to look at Wi-Fi as part of our last mile. Our network does not finish anymore with the connector to the, to the, to the physical device, but it gets to the, to the wireless within the house or within the, 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 the cities where we are. Uh, so we are installing right now 4,000 more hotspots across Mexico. Uh, we will end it in the next 12 months to 18 months with, with 10,000 hotspot devices. Because we truly believe that, that uh, whoever has broadband will need to have mobility also. We don't like to depend that on, 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 on mobile operators to have that power, or some other companies to provide, provide that service to the customers. We want, we want to go ahead and provide that to our, and probably have an advantage to other ones. Mobile smartphones are used uh, for so many things, but, but the 70% of the traffic, 75% of the traffic that mobile devices use is come from Wi-Fi, not from the GPRS uh, uh, networks. So we want those subscribers to be part of their world, but use our Wi-Fi because they have a broadband connection with us. That's our strategy, and it's a, it's a big chunk of mega cable right now, the hotspot. Do you feel you can leverage that Wi-Fi network, not only the metro Wi-Fi, but the home network, and offer roaming services to subscribers that maybe are not your typical subscriber? We, we have uh, thought about that. Uh, but right now, we, we, we believe that instead of providing roaming service, should be service for our subscribers, so they don't need to look for, for data, you know. The, the, the money you have to spend on telco in Latin America is limited. So we want them to stay and pay us and provide the more services we have instead of having them to pay mobile services certain amount plus the access to data. You know, that takes away money from our access. So we need to provide hotspots.